Hey there, welcome back to the shop. It's been almost two weeks since I introduced you to this new, um, not exactly a knee meal, but a traveling column meal that I'm aiming at retrofitting with this Centroid Acorn controller. So again, I got this uh, use, it was already retrofitted, so the mechanical part was already done, which was a very good deal for me. And I had it with DMM servos, and I only had, well, sort of, to uh, get the acorn and, and wire it up to, uh, to the DMM servos. So uh, I just made the first move um, one hour ago, and I'm still um, tuning the parameters between the servos and the control. And it's going to take a little while to get it perfect and smooth, but that's, that's still something. So uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll begin with showing you how it moves and then uh, go on to the explanations. You may not see this so well, but it's actually the column that's traveling in Y and Z, which sits on the saddle, so the table only travels in X. But it doesn't move that fast, I'll just tell you why in a, in a minute. Right now the rapids are 1.5 meters per minute in Z, and 1 meter per minute in X and Y. And back to the holding position. So what about this setup? This is an internal nook with a fanless case, so it doesn't get any dirt inside or nothing, and, and it's silent. So that, that's actually very nice because you don't have the fans running and making noise all the time. And, and you can, well, you can somehow splash at it or it can be in a dust environment and it's not going to harm the computer, so that's a good thing to have. Uh, Elo touch screen, I got it also used on eBay, same, uh, same as the, the control unit. And I, I made this uh, swivel stand so that I can uh, move around the PC, uh, but I, I put it quite high because I don't want the chips to mess with the keyboard and the touch screen. Very good thing with this touch screen, um, it's all flush. The, the, the only one PC I got on my lap with, with Century Light One also. Uh, you have the, the screen is recessed uh, in the casing, and so you have chips that, that get stuck between the casing and the screen, and it actually um, triggers the touch screen. This one is all flush, so it's both easy to clean, it doesn't trap any dirt or any chip. I have it uh, set up with the Shuttle Express. Uh, I, I borrowed it from late, but um, eventually I'll probably get the wireless MPG. Uh, now, um, three axes have 5mm pitch ball screws and 750 watt DMM servos with thin two drives. And there's a redrive of 4.5 to 1 on X and Y, and 3 to 1 on Z. Now, um, that's why the rapid gets so slow. And uh, so I got it wired about a week ago, and uh, it took me a little while to figure out a couple of things. Um, the, the drives were not running at all, and there were an alarm um, right from the power. Up. So, um, first mistake. Um, the, the face color from the motors has changed um, just slightly be between um, this previous uh, motor generation from DMN and, and uh, the actual generation. And it doesn't sound like much, it's just two phases or three or inverted. And uh, actually it makes a difference because uh, wired um, 
I spared the current generation, um, the, the tribes were triggering another hit alarm. Well, nothing had happened yet. Uh, and uh, and while well, searching for a problem, uh, well, looking for a solution, uh, I just happened to see the label on the, on the motor, which actually states the, the, the correct uh, color code for um, the correct color code for uh, the phases. And I just switched to a three and well, this time it was running. So uh, you would think three phases, you just switch one, doesn't make a difference what it does. So I, I guess the drive is too smart. Uh, so that was my first problem. And um, second problem was um, loss of phase uh, when I was trying to tune for max speed. And uh, I actually thought that the max speed for uh, those servos is 3000 RPM. Well, technically it is, but because this is a DIM2 drive, the max speed for this size of servo is 1000 RPM. So I, I'm not sure I would really want to spin any faster anyway, but since there's a, a high ratio redrive between the servo and the ball screws, well, that's why the rapid gets low. So I'll probably uh, put larger input pulley on, on the motor side, uh, probably like the Z, that's a 3 to 1 ratio, and that gives 1.5 meters per minute. Uh, and that would probably be enough, and, and already taking off torque, uh, you don't want to overstretch the motors anyway. So wiring is not perfect yet, I still have a couple more things to correct, like uh, Put a, 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 an e stop relay on uh, on the, um, the power supply for the servos, uh, wire the enable if that's useful anyway, and uh, add a couple more features like uh, the automatic lubrication pump and obviously the spindle motor. So I ordered on eBay 2.6 uh, kilowatts Chinese servo. Um, I guess you call it a SD uh, style, which is I guess a copy of, of Yaskawa. Okay, it's going to sit atop here with a, a, a 2 to 1 overdrive ratio. So this is going to be for next time. So if you have questions or suggestions, uh, do tell me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, let me know. And if you want to see the next videos, well, subscribe. Bye.